What is going on guys, I'm your boy Sally and today I'm back with another video for you. Today is the day where we finally get to sit down and talk about Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Yes, it dropped last night at midnight and I went and saw one of the first viewings of it in the UK, in the world in fact, um, at the uh, Leicester Square Odeon, which is where they usually will have premieres and things like that for massive films um, that are directed sort of in England and things like that. They had the Force Awakens premiere there last year. Sadly, the Rogue One premiere wasn't in London this year, it was in LA. Kind of sucked because I was really counting on it being in London, hence the reason why I chose this cinema specifically and where we were going to go watch it. Um, plus, it was just an awesome cinema to even get a ticket to go into, let alone the hope that there was a premiere there in the first place. But all in all, loved the experience. I got there like five and a half hours early with my friend Vic and his cousin Adi. You guys know Adi, he's been on my channel multiple times before where, with regards to my nerdy rants and sort of reviews and things like that and he's always in the comment section giving his opinion on things and he's one of the few people I can talk to in the comments who genuinely gets film on a level that I do. He's as passionate about it as I am and especially with regards to like nerdy films and like just stuff like this. He is a massive Star Wars fan as well. Um, so I'm pretty sure he'll end up doing a video on it if he already hasn't done one. So yeah, let's dive straight into talking about just how incredible, incredible this film is. I finished it last night, it finished at about quarter to three, and I was just speechless. Absolutely speechless. I sat there for like five minutes, just holding my popcorn, holding my drink, and literally literally speechless i loved the force awakens when it first dropped i loved um revenge of the sith even though well, out of the prequels are potentially the best but i loved that when that first dropped as well saw that at the cinema when it was first released never really had the opportunity to go and see the first two when they dropped um or episodes one and two when they dropped and obviously i wasn't even born when the originals were released but this out of the eight Star Wars films, um, or eight like canon Star Wars films that we have properly released um, in live format, <clears throat> this is a top three. It's not in the episodic rankings of that sort of thing, but it is genuinely a top three Star Wars movie of all time. Coming out of it, I put it up there immediately with episodes 4 and 5. I can't distinguish between the three just because I love episode 4 because it's literally where it all began. Episode 5 is potentially the best sequel of all time if not the best sequel of all time and it's just such an incredibly made film just so well done and this ah oh, it felt like one of the original films it distinguishes itself as a standalone anthology film with the way it's edited, the lack of a crawl which was actually really well done um, and just the whole film feels like it should be or could be between episodes 3 and 4 which is exactly what they needed to do um, it fits the format of the originals like I said it works so well with the whole story and ties up all of these different things and different issues that people had and different questions that people had and it was just done so incredibly, incredibly well and I genuinely loved it. I genuinely loved this film so much. I plan on watching it again at least two or three times. Over the Christmas holidays, I'll probably go to the cinema on my own to watch it again, just so I can get as many viewings out of this as possible, as many different potential experiences out of this movie as I can. Um, and just to try and make the most of this film whilst it is the Star Wars film. Um, <clears throat> the cast, absolutely amazing, sort of all pretty well unknown, um, apart from the likes of Forrest Whitaker and Mads Mikkelsen um, and Felicity Jones are sort of like the main three names that pop up. Um, honestly, such, like, such an incredible cast, the whole ensemble works so well together, all the characters have developed so well over the, the entire film, and it is, oh my god. Oh my god, I w I've literally, I watched it, how many hours ago, 12, like, nearly 15 hours ago, just, just under 15 hours ago, it would have actually finished 12 hours ago exactly now, um, finished 
exactly 12 hours ago and I'm still just speechless. Like, lost for words at how amazing, just outstanding and incredible this film is. In comparison to The Force Awakens, Force Awakens is like an average meh, and this is just, oh, act, like, just incredible. Just actually incredible. And to know that I'm one of the first few hundred, if not few thousand people to have seen this film when it was first broadcast in the UK, it just makes it feel so much better, especially watching it in the way I did. We got to watch it in 3D because that was what they were offering for the first viewing. And even beforehand, we had like a live organ player at the cinema. If you've never been to the Leicester Square Odeon, I would highly recommend it. It's an awesome experience genuinely amazing cinema i was slap bang right in the middle in the royal circle so it's laid out much like a theater as you have the stalls below everyone and the circle above and <clears throat> me i was sat about five rows behind my friends but we had such incredible seats because we were literally slap bang in the middle didn't have to worry about anyone being like directly level with us because our seats were raised and going above people i like, honestly the best one of the better cinema experiences i've had minus the lounge just because of how awesome the lounge is but in terms of like the actual film i've seen this is just upper echelon upper echelon film i uh, i know i'm a star wars fan so it may seem um biased and strange or not strange but ridiculously biased and sort of expected that this was the reaction i'd have but honestly just <clears throat> no words like literally none there's nothing i can say to sort of even try to put into words how good this film is it's just so well made so perfect and exactly what we needed as star wars fans for standalone movies i feel so bad for the person directing the next standalone film i can't remember who it is exactly um i'll find out right now um but whoever is directing that has a lot of work cut out for them that's all i can say they have a lot of work cut out for them it's um john and lawrence kazdan are writing it it's phil lord and christopher miller so good luck to you guys because <laughs> honestly this this film was just uh, astonishingly good gareth did an, did an amazing job of it he literally i won't say it's perfect because there are issues with some of the cgi used is a little bit cheesy a little bit cliche um but to see Grand Moff Tarkin on the screen again, oh, I can't remember the man who played him. Oh, I hate myself so much for not knowing that, but to see him was absolutely awesome. Peter Cushing, awesome. Peter Cushing, that's it. To see him on the screen again was absolutely awesome. Um, even though he's been gone and away for like 22 years now, um, to see him and his character reimagined on the big screen was absolutely awesome. Um, that CGI actually worked really well, was definitely necessary to the story and just worked incredibly. But then there's some later use of CGI. If you watch the film, you'll know. I won't spoil too much about it um, as this is the like sort of spoiler reaction review thing. But the, the later use of it is a little bit cheesy, a little bit unnecessary and a little bit cliche. Um, but the way they, they help distinguish it as a standalone film without the crawl, without the use of a crawl and no sort of like slides or the old traditional style editing we were used to with the original trilogy um that's pretty much all been scrapped and the uh, this video is all over the place but it's literally just because there's so much going on in my head after seeing this film and loving it as much as i did um for me to even be able to try and sort of fathom up some sort of logical functioning reasoning for this um <clears throat> one thing i will give a major shout out to is ks20 that character has been made so well because if you've always been fans of the droids and star wars um r2d2 c3po he is essentially a merger of both of those he has um the sassiness of c3po the sort of annoying weird quirkiness of c3po but r2d2's badassness he's like literally the perfect merger of those two and is absolutely awesome alan tudor did an amazing job of making that of character come to life um and yeah just everyone in this film did an absolutely incredible job um everyone who worked on it did an amazing job and 
my like main thing that I can say coming out of this is it is one of the best Star Wars films ever made and will probably be up there with the original two as one of the best Star Wars of all time unless episode 8 and these other anthology films that are coming over the next few years can do something absolutely incredible like I said it's not a perfect film but absolutely astonishing absolutely eclipses what The Force Awakens was and is this film is just next level upper echelon literally just what Star Wars needed um, a lot of people gave a lot of flack to The Force Awakens and on the way back, me and Adi were literally just sat talking, trying to pick any sort of issues we could. And there was no sort of major flaw with it, no sort of major issue. Everything we were finding and nitpicking out was so minute and so sort of easy to brush over and not have to worry too much about that it just goes to show how good this film is. Before this video ends, because I'm dragging it out and it's getting very repetitive, Vader holy shit holy shit there is two minutes in this film that sum up vader so well as a character everyone with reactions and reviews and just on the star wars like facebook page views and just on the star wars like facebook page on twitter everything so many comments about vader and i just had to give some sort of mention to it because it's absolutely incredible the way they worked around Sort of relevant, but not too relevant. Relevant, but not too relevant. Just ah, uh, just Vader. Literally, we saw him as the quintessential evil character, evil like the best villain of all time, as he is rightfully up there with some of some of the others. Like rightfully up there, and will will stay so. Just based off of this two-minute segment of this film, honestly. Even if you're not a Star Wars fan, if you haven't seen the other films, just watch this. Watch this movie and you will love it. And if you don't enjoy this film, then fair enough, your Star Wars isn't for you. But if you watch this and enjoy this, you could probably put yourself through watching the other Star Wars films. Um, what I'm going to do now is chill for the rest of the day, have a meal with some of my flatmates for Christmas, and then probably watch the other Star Wars films to sort myself out a bit. Um, and sort of try to line everything up but it is, that's also something that's done incredibly well the lineup of how this a rogue, rogue one ends and episode four begins is again again amazing astonishing job astonishing work just an amazing film all around gareth edwards all i can do is just applaud you for this amazing film you've made just Honestly, I I was lost for words and as a movie fan, someone who can sit and watch and dissect a film like I can, just amazing, just absolutely incredible. Um, I will probably be watching this again at some point during this week, maybe this weekend, um, if not tomorrow, if I can find time. Um, but yeah, that I needed to get this video out, I need to get some sort of reaction for you guys. A spoiler review will come out over the next week or so just so i can give time to people who haven't seen it and may watch my video the chance to watch it and then i can go more into depth about the characters the storyline how everything went down and my thoughts on that specifically but this is just initial reactions my thoughts everything um sort of just a video i needed to do sort of vent and sort of let you guys know how astonished i was by this film and how incredible it was just as a whole but yeah Hope you guys did enjoy. Apologies it was all over the place, but that's literally what my head is like right now after seeing this movie. I do feel incredibly ill. If you couldn't tell by my voice, um, I have literally been bedbound since I got back and my nose is blocked. So I've been trying to avoid breathing through my nose this entire video as to not disgust you guys. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy as always. I've been your boy Sully. This has been Rogue One, A Star Wars Story immediate reaction slash non-spoiler review and yeah <clears throat> like comment subscribe and peace